All right, so for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, to uh, get the new clothes to work with uh, characters. So I just want to show you quickly how it currently works. Uh, so let's hide this. Let's uh, let's hide this guy for now. So hide this guy. Right. Okay. So if you notice when you select the body bone here right and then you start going to the top clothing variants and start changing it it will change the clothes the top right so how how does this exactly work there's uh, a at um uh, uh what do you call it? a custom property for this bone so if you go to the bone and then you go down to the custom property there's a bunch of them right here one of them is called top or close top right so um, if you edit this guy you'll see that you can have up to well before it was up to 11 right and then because I'm adding a new um, a new uh, top I want to add a new slot so I would say to 12 right oh, did I hit okay where's it again close top Yeah, okay, right, anyway, so now it has 12 slots, so obviously the 12 slot is not filled right now, so it will just not show anything. Um, so how, how does it work? How does the close appear and disappear uh, when you change this value here, right? Uh, how it works is actually fairly simple. If you select the top here, and then you go to the vertex groups and you look at, at the vertex group. There is this group called everything. Now, if you go to edit mode, right, and you deselect everything and then you select the everything vertex group and say select, it will show you that everything is selected, right? Um, and then after that, there is uh, on the, uh, in the, Const uh, sorry, the modifiers tab, right? You will see that there's a mask, um, a mask uh, modifier, and that mask modifier is on everything. It selects the, uh, or it works on the vertex group, everything, and basically it masks all the vertices. It can do that through a driver. So let's let's select the driver and say open driver right you'll see that it has a very simple um, expression on it uh, basically it looks at that uh, body variance close top right so the pose bone is the body variance this is this pose bone right here this is this guy right here and then the custom property on that bone like we showed earlier is the close top right so now if we go back to the close and then the uh, the uh, the modifier tab and then you open this guy again. I hope you can. One one thing that I wish Blender can do is be able to keep the driver open, for example, while doing something else without having without losing context because it takes a long time to keep going back and forth. Anyway, so you you define the body variance which is the bone name and then the close top which is the property and then you have this very simple expression var not equal 11 so that means this mask is in effect as long as var does not equal to 11 the var is uh is the value that you get out of this guy out of this value out of this uh, property right here right so whenever it is not 11 um, the mask is on that means you don't see anything and then once it 11s the mask goes off and you see the you see the uh, the close so let's let's do that for our new guy right so let's unhide the jacket that we just added right and let's go to the 12 slot right so now the jacket is there uh, now we want to add a vertex group on the jacket. Uh, where is the vertex groups? Right here. Let's add a new vertex group. 
let's call it everything and then we'll go into edit mode select the entire thing why is it weird because i guess i have the all right select everything and then assign and then unselect and just make sure that everything is assigned looks good you go out of edit mode uh, into object mode uh, and then uh, let's um, add the mask on the mask modifier so let's go add where's the mask 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 ah, those things are hard to see mask here we go uh, move that guy up uh, then let's select everything group vertex group and then let's add now the easy thing to do is just copy uh, copy the driver so what we can do is we can go to uh, one of the other tops just right click this guy and say copy driver then go back to the jacket and say paste driver paste driver now we have to edit it because it still says 11 and we want the 12th slot so you go edit driver and then you say number 12 and enter and that's it then now if you go here and you move it away oh it's gone you move back it's there cool eh? that's it and you can now do that also for the for the pants once you get them done and then you have you can control you can control the clothes the top clothes and the bottom clothes separately anyway hopefully that helped and uh, good luck